Hello, my name is Jonathan Porterfield of Eco Cars. Short video clip now of our latest LPG vehicle, a new shape Bolingo van. This is uh, just not quite yet three months old. We bought this direct from Citroen UK, registered uh, say 29th of May 2009. It's had just 10 miles on the clock when we uh, bought it and we've just had it converted to LPG Autogas. This van, we guarantee, is London congestion charge exempt. It's got a BRC gas system fitted, and uh, it is just a brand new vehicle. There's nothing wrong with it at all. There are no marks, no dents, no chips. It is as it left the factory. And I'll just show you in the rear. It's a real improvement on the old Bolingos. They still make the Bolingo first, but this is the new shape Bolingo. You can see it's considerably bigger. Now, without stating the obvious, that's the spare that was fitted underneath the rear of the van, which now has the gas tank fitted. So Citroen approved, so there's no issues with the uh, warranty with this van. They approve of uh, Nicholson McLaren and BRC systems being fitted to their petrol vehicles. So uh, this can, of course, be boarded out, and uh, we've boarded out quite a few of these so uh, we can sort that for you as well. And just close this all. There's a rear courtesy light here which comes on. I've turned it off for now but uh, that comes on when the rear doors are opened. So uh, all oh, the other neat feature is that because Citroen on the continent fits so many of their vehicles with LPG even with the UK spec vehicles they allow enough room for the filler, the gas filler to be fitted behind the petrol flap so no one saw the fillers on the outside you'd never know it was running on LPG because you can't see the filler like I say it's a brand new vehicle there's no marks on it at all you get electric windows in the front manual manually adjusted wing mirrors and as you can see it is brand new there's even still some polythene left on the uh, the armrest there, lots of little cubby holes, storage bins, little slots and cubby holes, really is very useful. Well, the front passenger seat also has Isofix for the front child seat. This seat also drops down and you can use it like a picnic table, there's some cup holders in there as well. Uh, um, I'll just show you the driver's side and the LPG system. Again, like I mentioned before, we get electric windows in the front. And I'll just show you some more features. Just suffice to say, the front driver's seat is unmarked. Now this particular Benengo, it's uh, the X trim, so you get remote, uh, you get central locking, but it's not remote. You have to lock it with a key. And when you lock the doors with the key, it does lock all the other doors at the same time. So it is remote, it is central locking, but not remote central locking. So I'll just start the van. That's the LPG switch, which is rather neatly and flush to the uh, rest of the inner dashboard. I'll just start the car, van. Now that red light denotes it's starting up on petrol. And because the van is warm, you hear a click from the back. It goes to amber, turns to green, and it's now running an LPG. Now at any time you can turn the system off, press in the centre, and it'll go back to petrol. And if we press the centre again to turn the system back on, that red light will turn to amber, and then green, and now it's running on LPG autogas. And the four lights at the bottom denote the level in the tank, that being the maximum level and obviously these lights will go out as you use the gas. Now the petrol level is measured on the normal petrol gauge on the dashboard so you do need to keep some petrol in the van in order for it to start. As with all LPG vehicles they start upon petrol first. Electric windows in the front, so that's the driver's side and the passenger side. You can uh, set the uh, in the system so that the doors will lock automatically after you drive away to 5-10 miles an hour or you can lock them straight away 
that locks or unlocks the rear doors as well. Cigarette lighter, which you can use for a power point. Normal heating controls, recirculate. Um, single shot MP3 compatible CD player. And also a head up display. When you press the end of the wiper stalk, you get, if you can see it there, how many miles till you need to refill. Now that's always calculated on the petrol side. We'll explain that to you when you come to look at the vehicle. Um, that's the range. Average miles per gallon. It's been 35 to the gallon, which of course in price terms is over 70 miles to the gallon on uh, LPG. So extremely cheap to run. Average speed and obviously back to the date. We have... Uh, intermittent wipe and, and uh, normal uh, two-speed wipers. The stereo system can be controlled from the uh, steering wheel, the volume and the channels or the CD. We have uh, height adjustment for the uh, headlights, also the normal indicator stalk and lights on the other side. Very well thought out, lots of little cubby holes and uh, compartments. Even at the top above the driver, there's a shelf here where you could obviously store papers and such like. Even a vanity mirror on both sides. Adjustable seat belts. It really is a smart van, nice place to work. Behind the driver's seat we have here a uh, safety cage to stop things hitting the back of the driver. We guarantee the mileage is just 283 miles. We picked the van up when it had just 10 miles so the last 273 miles have been driven by myself and it's never been driven over 70 miles an hour and uh, it runs fine. So looking under the bonnet of this uh, brand new Berlingo we have the four gas injectors along the gas rail on the top of the uh, top of the engine cover there and just down there we have the vaporizer and also an inline filter which is easily accessible for when it needs to be serviced. Very neat installation and uh, LPG conversions that have done this for us have fitted lots and lots of these Berlingos extremely successfully. So just looking at the uh, registration document, no previous keepers obviously and registered by Citroen UK Limited. And as you can see, it was registered the 29th of May 2009. Um, just registered as a petrol van because that's obviously how it started out. And now this can be converted with DVLA back to, to read gas by fuel. But uh, it still will, be, still will be congestion charge exempt on production of the certificate to transport for London. Service book, of course, is here. With Citroen UK carrying out the first PDI inspection. All the manuals for the car are here on the operating systems and how to work the uh, infotainment system and the central locking etc. And also from LPG conversions who are LPGA approved is the conversion certificate along with all the other documents and also a service book which obviously is what I'll explain when you come to view or collect the vehicle. So everything is here, LPGA approved conversion and approved by Citroen UK as well. So finally, congestion charge exempt. It will return around about 300 miles to a tank full of gas and uh, extremely cheap to run, environmentally friendly. And so if you have any questions about this or any of our LPG uh, cars or vehicles, vans, then we look forward to speaking to you soon. Thank you.